Hi, I'm Miss Orr, and I would like to welcome you to Blue Oak Academy. We're starting kindergarten, and that's a really exciting time in our lives for our kids and for our parents. This will be a quick orientation just to kind of go over some of the basics. In our interesting situation, some things will be changing, um, but I would like to just give you the bare bones of what we're working with for now. So I have a, I did a nine o'clock, sorry, a 10 o'clock um, live orientation, and I will do another at six o'clock. And then I wanted to just record one that um, just had the information with kind of no side talk in it that you could refer to um, later if you needed to or if you were unable to make either one of those. All right, it will be interesting this year um, to start the year without being able to really see each other and you know, little kids love to hug and all of that interaction. So we're going to spend extra time really getting to know each other. I appreciate all of those cute pictures you sent me um, and those fun facts about your kids. I'm taking those pictures and I'm using those um, for their picture on my phone so that I can make that connection. I will also need to know a little more about you and um, be able to make that connection because I'm learning 22 kids and 22 parents and um, moms and dads, so up to 44 parents, and I want to get to know you also um, because we're all in this together. My background is that I just finished my 15th year of teaching, um, so we're going on 16 this year, and I taught, um, I've kind of worked forever, it feels like, in education and college. Um, I was a tutor and a mentor, and I worked straight in the after school programs, and then I got hired and I worked 10 years in first grade. I've worked in fourth grade, third grade, fourth grade, and now I am starting my fifth year in kindergarten. Um, I was at Blue Oak when we opened, and um, it's been an amazing adventure that we've been on. All right, so um, something important about me is I have a little nine-year-old. She's not that little anymore, but my daughter Lexi um, will come up a lot, and the kids will know her. Um, I have her half time and her father lives in Porterville. We have a rotating schedule. So sometimes I don't see my daughter for a few days and then I have her for a few days and my workload will kind of depend on that. So you may be seeing some extra things going out um, in the evenings um, sometimes and that's probably when I don't have Lexi and I kind of work more on those days in the evenings and do more prep and less when I have her, and it just tends to work out that way. Um, so I'm going to try to make her a priority this year because when we did distance learning last year, um, I really put her last and oftentimes didn't get to her um, work, and that's really important. So I'm a mom too, um, and I do love to walk. I miss walking. Um, I'm gonna try to get back to that. I just bought a home here in Visalia, and it's been really exciting to um, decorate it. And, you know, I've been doing projects and things that I never thought I would be interested in doing, but I've had a lot of fun doing it. One of the things I did was converted my front room to an office with a hanging whiteboard and a bulletin board. Um, so I got me a little classroom going on in my front room, and I can't wait to use it. Um, so I also put, this kind of is for your kids. So when we do our Zooms, then um, when we introduce ourselves, I'll be telling your, your kids about me and telling them this stuff. But I have two cats. I have a feeling they're going to be making lots of appearances in our um, Zooms and our uh, time together. So you'll get to know my cats, uh, their characters. And my favorite color is yellow. That's kind of a new favorite color. Do, does your favorite color ever change? Um, I didn't think mine would, but it keeps changing, and I'm super into sunflowers right now. So this is a picture of Lexi and I, and if you're just joining Blue Oak, and from this morning I had about half of my parents, um, and we went around and introduced ourselves, and I was trying to get a feel for brand new parents to Blue Oak, and we have quite a few. Um, we are a very close family-like community. Um, this picture is Lexi and I 
during distance learning, going and visiting a family in mourning. We um, made a car parade and signs and went and flooded that family with love. And that's just who we are and what we do. And um, it's exciting and just so rewarding to be a part of that. Um, and then here's a little cute cartoon of our administration, our bosses, Mrs. Stinson in the front here. So we got some blondies. She's the shortest one there, a little spunky one. <laughs> so we have Mrs. Stinson there. And then we have Mrs. Morris and we have Donya Ball, our superintendent. Mrs. Morris is our vice principal and she's just um, Mrs. Stinson's right hand man there to help out with anything that she needs. Um, this is a picture of my class last year, right before we went on distance learning with my amazing aide that I don't have um, this year because she's working the day camp. If your child is um, lucky enough to be doing day camp, they might have Miss Leslie and my student teacher. And this is just how the community we had, just, you know, family, close, um, and just a fun, good place to be. And I believe that we can um, build that community and we can do that through um, distance learning too. And if you don't believe me, just watch. This comes from our superintendent and I feel like it's important that um, I go over this because um, it really lets you know the culture of our school, who we are and what we're doing. So it says the pessimist complains about the wind. Distance learning, these rules, I don't like this. Why are we doing this? This is dumb. Uh, okay. The optimist expects it to change. It'll all be fine. It'll all work out. We don't have to worry. The realist adjusts the cells. So um, through our leadership, then that's what we're doing is we're figuring out what we have and kind of keeping opinion out of it. Because what does it matter if I complain or if I say, oh, it's going to be great. Like, we're just doing the work to make it work and um, it changes frequently and we're just going, we're rolling with it and making the best of what we have um, and using the tools that we have to do that. And we have um, done a really good job of that. And I'm excited to be part of a team that has really um, flourished and I'm excited to come back this year and do this again. Um, and then I have the little cute zoom thing so I will teach you in a room. I will teach you now on Zoom. I will teach you in your house. I will teach you with the mouse. I will teach you here and there. I will teach you because I care. So it doesn't matter if we're in the classroom or if we are on the computer. They're still my kids. You're my parents and we're going to have a great year. I want to go into the curriculum deeper later and I want to introduce things um, a week at a time. So my style last year was to wait until I had my staff meeting, which we met on Tuesdays last year. So Tuesday evening, by Tuesday evening, I would send out an update video and I plan to do that again. Um, we are having our staff time on Friday. So I expect that my video will come out on Monday. I'll try to make it five minutes or less. I will text you the video and email it. And I will try to pick one thing to go over and go over any changes or anything. And then for that week, that's what we'll do. Because I'm not going to yank you around and start throwing out a bunch of stuff and overwhelming you. I'm a parent too. And I need it to be, you know, systematic and slow. Um, so we will talk about Zern math and how that works. And you'll see that when we start our small groups. Um, Nancy Fetzer is my passion and I love it. And you'll, you'll, we'll be talking about that too. Um, and then Unbounded, we will be doing some work in our new curriculum. Toolbox will be our social emotional learning that we'll be doing during our 8.30 Zoom time, Monday through Friday. We'll be putting that, some of that in there. Um, and then we just have so much more. We have specialists and that's a lot. I want you to look at this and have it, but we're going to break it down. I'll break it down in my videos and I'll pick one thing to kind of introduce and talk about and add. And I want you to think of starting the year, our relationships together, and then we add um, to that as we go. The academies um, consists of two schools. And um, Sycamore Valley Academy was the first school, and that's where I came from. And the icons of depth and complexity are for gifted education, and Ruth Dutton wanted to take 
gifted education and turn it into making it um, universal and education for all because they're good practices. In kindergarten, we do not get really deep with our icons of depth, depth and complexity, but we do introduce them. And this is not coming right now. This will come later and you'll start to see it with the lesson in place and how it works and how it goes. Um, so we will um, be revisiting this and as your child gets older, and if you have your child in older grades, then this becomes part, a staple of what we do and part of what we do. And I would think of almost in a way, you know how you would see a standard connected to something? You will um, see an icon connected to learning to tie that into as the students get older. Um, I don't know how our awards will work this year, um, but we do have scholarly habits that I will be going over and talking about on a kindergarten level during our Zooms. Our 8.30 Zooms, Monday through Friday, will be for community building for um i'll call it social emotional learning where we're learning our tools and how um, we act and how to react and learning what kind of student we want to be and the things that we want to think about as we're learning so we'll be doing this at a kindergarten level there's also the core four that we'll be working on i couldn't get that to upload um on my um, slideshow for now but we will be going over that in our um, morning, I'm, I'm kind of calling that a morning meeting, our 8.30 attendance check-in. And uh, on the next one here, I have sent out an email that has all these important things and I don't want to overwhelm you, so I want to ask you to do two things for me. Please, I want to say it by the end of the week, but it's already Friday, <laughs> as soon as possible, Please get on Blooms. This is my class code. Please go to Google Classroom and sign up for that. Your child has an email that was the first, it's on that first page of the paper that you picked up um, and you will be able to get on there through that and that's my class code. You'll use their email. Please do those two things. I plan on posting everything in Google Classroom. Google Classroom is brand new to me. So I will be learning right along with you. If you have older kids, then you might be my teacher. Um, but please, those two things. What will follow later is we will get into, I have a YouTube channel. I'll be sending you videos. That's where I'll be posting um, the things that I want the kids to watch or your information videos that I'm planning on probably sending those out on Monday. We'll have weekly um, packet pickup and that I probably will do that on Tuesday to give myself a little time and give yourself a little time. Um, when you got your packet, there was a clear um, pencil pouch in there. So for that pencil pouch, when you need refills, then please put a note in there and say, I need an eraser. I need a new marker. Um, and then I will replace it and give it back to you the following week. And we'll talk more about um, this. But um, I want you to know that your supplies can be replaced and be replaced in that way. You probably are not going to be able to sharpen your pencil. I will probably have to do that for you. So you can put the pencil back in there. I'll get the hint if the pencil's in there. It needs to be sharpened. Um, and then I will sanitize when I do that, of course, and make sure that everything's sanitary and get that back to you the following week. We will talk more about um, supplies and how we will... Um, get those back and forth and that will be in a five minute um, YouTube video. So there's more things here. I'm gonna send you with more things, but I just want you to know that we'll go back to this. ABC Mouse, check your child's email. I signed our class up. Um, one of the other teachers told me that they're wanting the parents to pay. Do not pay. Let me go back in there, figure out what's going on and I'll get back to you on that. I signed your student up for Epic and we'll talk more about Epic later. You may be familiar with that. I'll be assigning books and I will be assigning some assignments that go with that. Starfall, there's no login, but our school did pay for Starfall. Um, if you are not um, getting the full benefits of Starfall, then you need to contact me um, because I can give you the code to put in because we, are, we have access to it. What you might see in a week is on that weekly schedule, I might say on Starfall to visit these four different activities. 
Um, so we will be, and that's kind of on your honor to use the, do those activities. This will come later. We have a contract with ERS library. I will be talking to you about how um, we can log into that and then assigning different things that you can do. Also, these can count for minutes. Please don't worry about the minutes that you have. I will go into more detail with that. You will have long lists of choices. You are not spending 300 minutes with me as a teacher, um, so don't worry. The time is flexible. There's lots of awesome things that um, you can do, and we will talk more about that. I am working on setting up family interviews. When I finish with these today, um, then that's what I will be doing. And then I will set my groups up based on that. I've had parents with very specific requests for times because of work or other things. I want to know that stuff before I make my groups. And I want to know a little bit about your child. Um, but I'll give you an example of how the groups may go. So here's one possible example, and here's some activities, but I have many, many more um, for you. And if you tell me um, my child does not like writing his letters, then I might say, um, can you try getting a cake sheet, dumping some salt, and try doing the letters that way? Here, let me send you this Nancy Fetzer video. It's very individualized, um, and my job is to serve you. And if you're feeling stressed out, if your child is stressed out, if it's not working, come to me so I can help um, you fix it, and we can work together to fix it. I guarantee what, there's going to be some child that run, starts out of the gate and you're going to feel like, my child is bored, they need something harder. Let me know so that I can give you other things to do. Somebody else is going to be in tears, feeling like this is too much, my child cannot sit through this, we can't get through these minutes. And I can give you plenty of ideas, different things you can do um, to help you with that. So just please reach out to me because now that we're not in the classroom, I don't get to spend that time with your child to really get to know them. And it's going to take longer to get to know them. So I need your help um, to, to get to know them. I also don't know your circumstances. And normally I don't really ask a lot of questions, but during the interview, I'm going to ask you a lot of questions to try to understand what boat you're in um, and what I can do to be of service to you. Um, so right here, this is an example of how it might be. Um, this is set in stone. Zoom, Monday through Friday, taking attendance. It is very, very important that your child is marked present every day. Um, we, as a school, depend on that. If you cannot make my Zoom meeting, you are able to go to anybody else's Zoom meeting. If you can't make my Zoom meeting, but you can come to small groups, you are more than welcome to do that and it will count as attendance. But my preference as a teacher is if you're not at my 830 meeting, please call me. And what you would do is you would call me and you would say, my child can't make this meeting for whatever reason. Um, you know, we have a doctor's appointment or, you know, grandma doesn't have the hookup for it. Um, and then I want, I need to hear from your child. So then your child gets on the phone and they say, good morning, Miss Or, I'll see you at my small group. Or good morning, Miss Or, I'm not able to get on the computer today. And then if they're not, then I'll send you something they can do that day or the lesson or something to make up the time. But I'm asking you to please call me um, if you're not going to be at the 830 because I'm supposed to turn my attendance in um, by 11 or 12. And if you show up at small group, I can easily see myself forgetting um, to update my attendance or to turn it in, and that can be a problem. So it would be amazing if you would call me, and it needs to be a call, not a text, and I need to hear your child's voice. So you tell me that so-and-so can't be there, it doesn't really matter what the reason is. They get on the phone, and they say good morning, and they say, you know, um, like, you know, I... I'm not going to be, they'll, they don't even have to say that part. It's like, good morning, and I will see you tomorrow at the, you know, whatever, I'll see you tonight. And then um, I'm also willing at times when I can to do some makeup time. So let's say they can't make their group. And um, if we can coordinate that, then I will work with you. I'm here to serve you and do um, what I can for your family. If you have to miss groups, then I think it's easier to miss groups and we can redo those, but please try to come to morning meeting. If you have to come to morning meeting and um, you can't stay and you're just there for attendance, 
that's okay, but please come. I would love for my kids to come or call me and you'd probably have to leave a voicemail because I will be in morning attendance um, so that I can turn my attendance in. And like I said, it's really important that your child is marked there. We do have an independent um, study option if you are going out of town or doing things and we can talk more about that later. I know this is a lot of information. We'll go more into the independent work um, and uh, later and the things we can do in this this is just a small list and we will be adding to that I'm actually going to skip this for now um, these are some supplies but I'm going to wait on this all right before um, I relied heavily on donations if your family is able and willing and in a position where they can donate it is really really helpful um, for me our budgets were cut um, quite a bit, and usually my parents are the ones that help me with the kids' supplies. So you'll notice that like your whiteboards um, are kind of in bad shape, and uh, the markers that you got have somebody else's name on them. Some of them do. The reason for that is the first day they asked us to um, separate supplies, I already had a parent labeling those and putting them in baggies. So they hadn't even been used by that student, but I didn't want to waste them. But I have an Amazon list, and if you're ever able um, to donate any of that stuff, then it'd be, it would be really helpful. And I kind of um, talked about this um, is this going to let me go? Let me see if I can get Amazon here. So I have an Amazon link that I also sent you through email. Um, and like if you were able, here it says there's like two sets. If you were able to um, donate some whiteboards, the whiteboards that get in really bad shape, you can send your whiteboard back in your um, baggie and then I can replace the whiteboard for you as we go. We are going to go through so many markers. So right now I'm out of markers. If you're able to donate some markers, um, you would just be able to add them to the cart and send them and it sends um, straight to Blue Oak, and I actually may um, switch this to send to my house so I don't have to go there. Um, I am located at home, and I will be at home about 95% of the time. I will only be going out there to make copies and get your packets ready and switch those up. Um, uh, things like tape, I use this all the time to tape up the folders um, and different supplies to help them last, and pencils. I would like your student to have like two or three and only have enough to do one pencil right now as we started. Um, so if we can get more pencils, get those because you, the way you sharpen them, you need a special sharpener for those. So if you could donate those, that would be awesome. If you're not in a position to donate, please don't worry about it. But usually there are some that can donate and that's some that can't and it usually works out. I'd like to get the students some Play-Doh too because we can do some activities with it. Um, I'm going to be using poster board and I'm going to be um, writing a lot. So my markers are looking pretty um, low and running out. So I'd like to get some new markers. I would love for the kids to get paint. Um, so if somebody's able and willing to donate that and they're kind of um, done where it's like, I need two of them. So somebody might be able to donate one and someone can donate another one. Um, and then I'm out of glue now. Got you your glue there. And then later I would like to, this is a big one, but they're just wish list things. But these are things that, um, we will be using and replacing and if you are and I'll update this if you're able to donate things It's just super helpful if you've been at our school before it's back to school night helping hands It's usually kind of like a one-time thing that we do that really helps out um, my parents have always been very generous and um, I've always had a really nice um, teacher budget and this year um, the budget budgets are tight. Maybe money's tight for all of us, so we'll, we'll just work with what we got. So please try to take the take care of what you do have, and then hopefully we can um, keep our supplies nice and um, be able to get everything that we need. Um, I will be in contact with you to set up your family interview, um, and our attendance starts Monday. Uh, I will send you the Zoom link and. Um, we will have our first meeting on Monday. So I'm excited to get this year um, rolling with you guys. And just to finish up, I just want you to know that um, we are in this together. So it says, be better together. That's our theme this year for Blue Oak. 
and I want you to come to me and feel comfortable um, telling me what's going on, how you're feeling, how your student is doing, and so we can build that relationship because it's going to be um, challenging. Um, we already have a room mom. We're gonna try to have once a month um, rewards if we meet our goals for things. We're already thinking maybe our first month we're going to have silly sunglasses lunch where we have lunch together with their sunglasses on and build that community and um, have some um, fun with that. So we're going to have a good time. We're going to have some challenges and we're going to get through this together. So it's I'm excited uh, to get this year rolling.